hi everybody and welcome back to my channel thanks for clicking on my video today I have my current beauty favorites I've been watching a lot of videos lately on YouTube trying to get some ideas for like skincare and foundations and all everything beauty and I've been watching a lot of um, Tati who I think is really really good for makeup especially and then I've been loving Fleur de Force and clicking on her for her current favorites and she gives some really good um, advice, some good tips on some of the current brands that are out there that are good for skincare and everything else. And I said I do one today because I love looking at them. So let's crack on with my current beauty face. The first thing I'm going to talk about is foundation. Now I go through loads of different types of foundations. I try different foundations. I'm a sucker for something new that comes out. I don't tend to buy too many high-end um, foundations for the simple reason that I've tried one or two and I don't find them a huge difference to ones that you would buy in the high street drugstore chemist so I don't really buy a lot of high-end ones I've tried them and I haven't been really really lucky with a lot of them so I'm always welcome to any tips that anyone has for any of the high-end makeups but today I'm going to talk about these two these are my current favorites one is the naturals collection and one is the number seven now I currently have on the number seven uh, this is the protect and perfect advanced all-in-one foundation I watch foundations that have an SPF because sometimes I feel the SPF actually makes my skin a lot oilier and breaks me out that little bit more so I try to avoid but this one I thought I'd give a go because I love number seven's protect and perfect um, serums uh, any of their face cream so I said to give this a go and I have to say I really really like it this is in shade warm beige that's it there and there's an SPF 50 in it which is quite high but I've been wearing it for a while now there's not a lot really left in it and i haven't had any breakouts now i have it on today and um, it's buildable you can put a very small amount on or you can layer it up and it gives i think it gives a really really good full coverage medium to full coverage and i've had no issues with breaking out price wise i think it's around 25 euro maybe between 20 and 30 which is kind of mid-range but i find that one really 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 good and um, it doesn't cake i don't feel it kind of moves on my face by the end of the day, if I'm wearing it to work when I come home, it's actually still there. So I do really, really like that. That's in one of my top um, foundations for uh, drugstore. And again, number seven is one of my favorites in a lot of things. Um, skincare especially. So that's probably why this is so good because their serums are really good. I'm not all over their makeup. I've said that before, as in eyeshadows, blushers, that kind of thing, mascaras, not great at all, but I'm really, really liking that. So that's the one I'm currently having at the minute. And if I'm not using that one, I am using this cheap and cheerful naturals collection and this is their hydrating and radiance foundation i think this is about i want to say about six euro and it's actually one of the best foundations i have used i've tried the rimmel the bourgeois maybelline's i've tried all of them in the the drugstore range this is probably one of the best for the price and I use Biscuit. So the two of them are quite similar in colour. It's not really, really pale. I tend to not put on a really, really pale colour because I always put on a little bit of tan, perhaps underneath the self-tan. Um, so that's Biscuit and I cannot recommend that enough for the price. The next item I'm going to talk about, I am so excited about. I have spoke about this item with my friends for a while now. I have been using it for about, about four months, perhaps. And I have found these an absolute game changer for my skin. Uh, not sponsored, not promoted, nothing like that. I just find these are amazing. These are the number seven serum activating pads. Now, I don't know if anyone else has actually uh, used these. They come in these little, this little pot. They are, I think, around 39 euro. You get 60, but at the minute in boots, I think they're currently on a special. So sometimes if you get the vouchers in boots and for number seven, they can, I think I pay 20 euro for these, but I will not be without these. These are the most amazing things I have ever used, especially on my crappy skin. And they have 10% glycolic glow complex. So when I had a look online to see, obviously the glycolic acid is in them. I use one of these every evening. I don't use them in the morning. They are actually just like little compads, as you can see. So I use one every night, so they last me two months. So I really, really get good value for money. I do my general face cleanse, take off all my makeup. And before I go to bed, I wipe over my whole face with one of these. And then I put on one of my moisturizers or a serum. And I find that my skin, when I, when I was away for a couple of days, I didn't have these with me. And I found that my skin was looking very tired, very dull. I had a lot of broken veins. 
my skin just looked terrible when I didn't use these and I didn't use them for about four days so in my beauty routine or my skin routine I will not be without these guys I cannot recommend them enough it was just a fluke I went into Boots and one of the girls recommended them and she was like oh we sell so many of them every couple of minutes and they sell out so quick and I think I had one of the vouchers and again me being the sucker that I am I was like oh yeah I'll give them a go best thing I ever bought especially for I think for any skin and a couple of weeks ago I had a really bad bad breakout around here and within two or three days it was gone I was left with no marks I've even found I've really bad open pores around my kind of my t-zone I have found these have if possible slightly shrunk them up I know they're kind of removing a lot of the dead skin cells so it's renewing things a lot quicker but I cannot talk about them enough they are so so good and after I wipe over my face with one of these lately I have been using um, the Neutrogena Visibly Clear Spot Proof and Oil Free Moisturiser. I've been putting this on at night over after swiping my face with one of these and it's just given me great results especially certain times of the month. I'm not using it every night but it's one of the best moisturisers I think for any kind of problem skin. So I swipe this over the face and then this on afterwards before I go to sleep and I just find it brilliant. If I'm not using this in the evenings, I, if my skin's actually looking good and I don't need to use that, I've been using the Kaiko Skin Trainer. I bought this again as I went into one of the shops in Spain and she tested it on me and I was really, really impressed. It felt lovely. And I have to say, these are serum activating, so they probably work actually better because serums go deeper into the skin um, than moisturizers do. And this one is really, really lovely. I've been using this in the evenings when I haven't been using the Neutrogena one and my skin is feeling fab in the mornings. It's actually like silk. Um, so that's Youth Generation Skirum Skin Trainer from Kaiko. And I love their products. I've tried a couple of their cleansers and their skin products. We don't have it here in Ireland. So when I'm over in Spain, I always pick up a few of these, but cannot recommend this one enough. And it comes really well packaged, a really good glass bottle. And it has like the little... Um, droplet to give you just the right amount and yeah I'm really loving that so when I'm not using my spotty skin moisturizer I'm using the Kaiko one with the number seven um, glycolico serum activating pads best skin routine I've used in a long time Love another them. item I've been loving at the minute is mascara again like foundations and like everything else beauty I'm a sucker and I try them and I try them and I try them and it's a long time since I have spoke about a mascara I really really like the Estee Lauder one I really like, but it dries out really quick. Um, this I bought just to try and see was it any good because I'd heard good things about it. And it's actually really, really, really good. This is the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara. And I always use black. I think I've spoken about this or I might put it on my Insta stories. It gives such great definition to your lashes. It really, really lifts them. It doesn't dry out. Sometimes at mascaras, I find by the end of the day, my eyes can feel quite dry with some of them. And I haven't had an issue with this one. So that's why I'm really, really liking it. Um, it's not that easy to get off. Even when I soak my lashes in an eye makeup remover. Um, it's not the easiest to get off, but I sacrificed that for the fact that it is such a good mascara. And I have it on today. I'm not sure if you can see it, but scary close up. It really, really lifts and defines my lashes. I have My lashes are quite long, but they are so, so fair. And I don't have the thickest lashes. And this is one I will certainly be buying again. Um, it's the Soap and Glory As I Let It Fall Thick and Fast High Definition Black Mascara. And again, I think that's less than 15 euro and love it this is one i'll be buying again the next product i think i shared on my insta stories a couple of weeks back it is the garnier amber solaire after sun um this was something i got i think while i was away or on my way back i can't actually remember from spain and it's a hydrating tan maintainer now i had a look at the back of it and it obviously is it has a self tan in it because you always know when it says in the back wash hands after each application and i like to put on some type of a self tan for my days off when I'm not working I don't wear any makeup but I don't want to look pasty white I have a very very pale skin and sometimes I think I look a hell of a lot better with just a slight glow to my face I've tried the Clarins one um oh god what's the other one the, oh, the L'Oreal one I think I've used as well really really good this one I find absolutely brilliant it comes out like a very very white thin gel so it doesn't clog up my pores I put it on every morning Every second morning, perhaps under my foundation, 
let it dry in before I put on um, my moisturizer and I find it really really good I don't it's not no I have no tan on today but it's not dark enough I don't think for body tan but to give I have on obviously I put on this morning and um, it gives it a really nice glow to your skin it's an after sun hydrate and tan maintainer with vitamin E um, intensifies and prolongs sun tan so it's obviously marketed as an after sun but there is a slight um self tan in it and I think it's, it doesn't say use for the face it's probably not meant for the face but I find it really really good um, and cheap and cheerful I think that's probably less than 15 euro and I get ages out of it and it doesn't clog up my skin it doesn't make my skin greasy because it's more like a gel formula so loving that no one. surprises here another number seven product I think I've spoken about this one before this is the hot hot cloth cleanser I cannot be without this these two are going to be in my life forever how sad but they are and um, this is what I take my makeup off with I don't use wipes and um, I just use this I warm my face with some hot water and I use this and um, a very hot um, face cloth and it just wipes off everything and it leaves my face feeling amazing I have been using this one for years I used to use the oil but I find this one much better and um, it's the radiant results one and again I think this is maybe less than 20 euro absolutely love it and you get ages over with the pump it's a very very light cream and um, when it goes on over the face when you take it off what I love about it is there's no feeling of dryness on your skin afterwards which I got sometimes with some cleansers and I find because of the type of crappy skin I have micellar water is not it doesn't work for me I need some type of a cream cleanser to stop the drying out sensation on my skin and I find this one is probably the best I think number seven need to start sponsoring me because I have everything number seven and I just love love really, really quick one I want to talk about um hair care I'm not the biggest hair care kind of person that buys the best of everything in hair care but one thing I cannot live without is dry shampoo now for years I have been using the I think I'm gonna say this wrong but is it the Batiste the one that everybody uses with all the different colors and flavors and everyone uses that one that's the most popular this I happen to get I think just to try it I don't know why I tried it but I did and I found it the best dry shampoo I would never buy the Batiste one again now it's slightly dearer it's seven euro I think the Batiste one's about three or four and it's the soap and glory the rush hour dry shampoo another thing I will not be without they even do a little travel size and I've bought that and I bring that away with me all the time I have no volume I have the flattest straightest <clears throat> most boring hair even when I wash my hair <clears throat> excuse me I put in dry shampoo and this gives me such a good you wouldn't think it now but I actually have it in today and I only washed my hair yesterday this gives me such a good lift especially in my roots because my hair was so flat and it's sometimes if I put in um any kind of mousses or anything it actually makes them flatter maybe I'm not using the right ones please help me if you have any tips for hair but my hair was quite flat quite straight boring and some days when I'm off I I don't always wash my hair I don't try to wash my hair I do it maybe every second for a day because I like my hair feels much better as you know when your oils kind of come through so in the days that I go to the gym and that kind of thing I pop this in on my days off and it still makes your hair feel really really nice your hair can look quite clean because I have greasy roots so it kind of gets rid of that greasy kind of feel and we all can't live with a dry shampoo at the minute and this one if you're thinking of trying one that's good and actually better than the Batiste one I would give this a go the rush uh, the rush hour Rush Hour. Oh, I'll get it. Rush Hour. Scent Sensational Dry Shampoo. I've often gone into boots and they're sold out of it and I panic. How sad is that? But they get it back in again. It seems to be really, really popular. Cannot recommend that one enough for Last dry shampoo. Last but not least, one thing, another thing I can't live without, and I have been using this for years. I actually showed it to my daughter a couple of weeks ago and she didn't even know it existed because she always gets her nails done. I don't. I'm a bit more of a like to change my nail colour every day, every second day. And this is the Essence Express Dry Drops. It's something very simple. It's a small little oil. Um, it's in the Essence stand and Primark or any of the, the chemists or anywhere there's an Essence stand. It's right beside the nails. And when you put a drop of this, it comes with a little droplet. You just need a drop of this, I put on this morning, on each nail. And by the time you get one hand done and you go to the other, this hand is dry. You're probably like myself, I don't have time to be sitting around waiting for my nails to dry, but I do like to change them up. I would like to have the same colour for weeks on end. I don't mind my toes in the summer, but my fingernails, I like to just change them up. 
and you know yourself when you give it one coat, two coats, you're sitting there for ages. You don't have that when you have this. You put a drop on, and by the, as I said, by the time you get to the other hand, your nails are dry. Um, and I just think it's such a brilliant little product. I think somebody else does it. Maybe Catrice do one as well. Um, I think this is 250. Like two euro 50, your nails are dry in seconds. Um, and I always have a couple of these in my nail drawer as well. Cannot live without it. Great little thing to have for when you're doing your nails. So that is everything that I've been loving, that I've been using. Um, don't think I've missed anything now. They are the current things that I can't live without and I use every day. So I'll try and link all of them below. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I'd love if you hit that subscribe button. If you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.